Hi guys, welcome to another Star Wars Helmet Collection review and today we are looking at issue 6 which is the TIE Fighter Pilots. Now as per usual we'll start off with the magazine. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Just some uh, scenes there from the film, that's cool. Very nice picture of it here as well with the like red as he's in the TIE Fighter cockpit, that looks awesome. Issue 6. Opening it up, you get your basic index here, the uh, photo of the helmet, and as for you, oh, charge up, bloody Binks. Yeah, I'll just give you a quick overview of that, and you can pause this and give it a read if this is something that would interest you. I'll just try and get all the text in, so you can pause it whenever you feel. And here we have this bit here that opens up in the middle of the magazine, as you can see there. Pretty interesting feature, as by opening it up you get like the schematics of the helmet, what each part of it does. Yep, just try and capture all of that in there. Hopefully I haven't missed anything, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that there. Closing that section back up and moving on to the next page. You've got some weapons and uniform, it says, even though there's ships there. Maybe he's talking about the weapons that the ship has. So, oh well. Got some more ships here. Yep. Seen from Empire Strikes Back. Yep. Hopefully I've got all of that, and on the back, of course, you have the next issue, which is the Scout Trooper from Return of the Jedi. Now then, okay, now that I've gone over that, it's time to get the actual helmet, which has a bit of dust on the top. There we go. Here we have the TIE Fighter Pilot helmet, and of course, that, that kind of clear plastic acrylic display stand, I'll be taking that off. Yep, got some dust on the sides, but oh well. Here we have the helmet, and this is the first one I've got that's actually had major paint issues. As you can see here, if I just zoom in, we've got that there. This is something I've been meaning to touch up with a silver Sharpie, as I do have one of them somewhere. And I thought, you know, I'd just do a, a review of it first. But even with that, you've also got this, it's like, I don't know, a glue stain, or, you know, Something like that on the top of the helmet, which doesn't look particularly nice, but oh well. What are you gonna do? This is a really nice helmet. It's a it's a really cool design. It's like it's mixed in with a like the shape, the way it goes around there. It looks similar to Luke Skywalker's. So that's pretty cool. Although this does look much cooler. Yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. Colors are pretty basic. You've got a silver black and yeah that's it but you know it looks cool zoom out as per usual actually before I talk about that you also have these here you know the tubing sections which go down to their like uh, chest piece and they feel they're rubberized so that's really cool as you can see it goes up in there it looks like it's held on with a little bit of plastic camera can't pick it up if I just yeah, it's held on with a tiny amount of glue from what I can tell. Very obviously glued as well there, but oh well. It is also removable, just like the majority of Star Wars helmets, if not all of them I think. Got this and this rubber section here which just, you know, grasps onto that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice helmet. Only problem with it being black is it picks up a lot of fingerprints. But, you know, that isn't anything I can fix by just wiping it on my t-shirt. So, no issue there. This is issue 6. And so far in the line, we've only got... Well, I'm talking as if I was reviewing this when it came out. I'm not. But I'm just going to talk as if it was. As to not confuse anyone. This is issue 6. And so far, you've got Darth Vader, Boba Fett, C-3PO, Luke Skywalker's X-Men helmet. Stormtrooper helmet and this TIE Fighter uh, helmet. Um, so far, 
unless you count Darth Vader. They've all been from the original trilogy. But you know, Darth Vader did appear in the prequels for like what? Uh, a minute? No, no, bloody stupid. Anyway, but yeah, putting this back on the display stand, try and make sure it's all centered. Yep, you've also got TIE Fire just written there. Not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but yeah. So, so far, we've only got original trilogy helmets, and you have no complaints from me. I mean, there's some really cool helmet designs from the prequels. That's probably one of the few things I like, some of the clone designs and some of the ships, as they did the prequel. But yeah, that's that. Putting the helmet back in the case, as you can see there, and as per usual, I'll compare it to the last one, and the last one was a Stormtrooper. As you can see, this one feels a little bit smaller than the Stormtrooper, but, you know, it looks alright when they're together. You know, if someone sees it, the first thing, you know, like a casual fan, the first thing they're going to say is, Oh, that's cool, you got a TIE Fighter helmet. You know, a super nerd would be like, oh, it's too small. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, this was issue 6. It's pretty cool. I'm rather impressed with the line, and yeah, I look forward... Well, whenever a new one comes out, I always look forward to finding out what the next one is on the back. So I kind of savour that moment until I've had a quick glance through the magazine. Then I'll turn it over, and then I'll either be disappointed, or I'll be like, oh, that's alright. Or I'll be like, oh, that is cool, I can't wait for that one. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and take care.